Hey, hey, wake. Hey, hey, welcome back to the workshop. You see what I did there? Hey, 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 hey. Yep, all right. Welcome back to the workshop. Just finish up the uh, Boston table. And uh, we're gonna be. Uh, hey, hey, welcome back to the workshop. You see what I did there? That's right. Moana, hey, 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 the chicken. Yeah, okay. Finish up the uh, Boston table today, and uh, I gotta get cranking on a cooler because somebody wants one by the 18th. And, you know, kinda took it easy today. Finish up the table this morning. A little uh, winery, a little wine tasting, right? It's pinky out type of thing. <laughs> Very good though. Uh, and, you know, Came back home, really didn't want to do anything. Caught up in a couple Game of Thrones. And now I'm feeling guilty that I haven't started anything on this cooler. So we're going to crank out, at least cut some legs. Here's the legs. It's all pallet, made out of pallet. These are, uh, what I'll do is cut the bottom nice and flat. 32, which is right around in this zone. Cut it. We'll do that with all these. I know I've got... Uh, more than uh, enough legs, but uh, we'll keep one in the uh, in the pile back there. Should somebody want another cooler down the road, we're uh, one leg in. We got something started. So the game plan is chop some legs. I won't feel as guilty if I start those um, today. In fact, I've already got all of this stuff. These are all the sides in the front and back. I may uh, just cut those to size too because I've made enough of these with this cooler that uh, I've got the size down pretty good. So game plan, this is the cooler, Coleman 48, Mr. Coleman. You can fit, let's see what it says. You can fit 76 frosty beverage cans in there. Um, Coke, Sprite. Beer, beer, uh, I don't know, maybe some Capri Suns. It's not a can, but I bet you could fit at least 76 of those bad boys in there. So that's game plan. Let's cut some legs, cut these down, and uh, my guilt factor on today, Sunday evening, will go drastically down. All right, stay tuned. All right, I feel much better because what takes place next, not tonight, I'm got sawdust all over me, is uh, goes very fast. I, mean, I don't know how long that took. Uh, 10 minutes, cut all that. It probably takes, I don't know, another half hour total to actually build the cooler. So you see these legs? I like these legs, I love these with the, uh, the little cutouts for the forks. Probably be these on the front. Eh, actually now I'm thinking about it because I there's usually like a pop top that goes here and then a catch for the bottles, you know, bottle caps that fall in. And they want a logo under the, uh, under the pop top. So actually I may put those in the back and burn the, burn the logo in these. Put these in the back like that. Like that. And then have the front. These be the fronts. And I'll burn the logo 
on the front there. Anywho, I've always also got these. Wouldn't you know it? So basically, you know, these, uh, oh, watch your toes. Fit in the inside, obviously. Need to be wider, like that. Fit in there. Uh, these three together, perfect size. Skinny, fat, skinny. Pick the best one for the front. There'll be a logo burnt on the front. There'll be a logo on the top. So we build that, build the bottom, uh, then make the lid to go on the top, and then kind of a final sanding and start burning. So uh, stay tuned. Should be a uh, fun little video, fun project. Signing it. Back at it, and uh, yeah, I. So last thing you saw was me cutting these legs, and yeah, I didn't get any video of building what you're looking at right now. My fault, uh, I crammed in before uh, work this morning, building this. So what we're gonna do right now, right now, these uh, bottom pieces, the bottom of the cooler, are glued and tacked in. I'm gonna drill and screw these in, gives us some extra strength. This way when you've got the cooler filled with ice and 76, frosty beverages it does not fall through the bottom of the uh cooler i learned that the hard way in one of the i don't know cooler number two i think i built guy put some ice in it and busted out the bottom of it so did a little re-engineer and here's where we're at All right, one cooler, pretty much that's it. There's not a whole lot of rocket science. A little bit of wiggle room in here to adjust, but when I put these caps on, so the way it'll look, something similar to this, you know, that piece is broken, but that type of thing. Piece. Be this type of deal. You know, we frame around the top like that, all the way around. So, and then that gets 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 screwed and finish nailed into this edge. Not screwed, but glued and finish nailed along the top. And then we. Uh, Build the top for it, the lid that gets screwed into this lid and hinged and everything. And we got ourselves a cooler. I'm actually liking this is the front right now, but I don't know. We'll see. I gotta sand it, do like a finished sanding on it. We'll see if this, if these uh, stamps come off or not. If not, this side is just as good. Probably end up doing that anyways, but uh, this is a nice clean piece here to do a nice image. I gotta look back at the uh, email and what they wanted. It's an image of uh, a big fan of Martha's Vineyard. Of uh, the vineyard, Martha's Vineyard. You got wicked wrecked up there. 
especially in the winter, big drink in town. Um, I think it's the outline of Martha's Vineyard and then a monogram of their initials on the top and then oh, a little bluebird or something like that logo that'll be under the pot top for defrosted beverages. All right, stay tuned. Crack a lacking. I say that a lot, don't I? Crack a lacking. I don't know where I got that from, but I like it. Back at it, uh, finishing it up. We got this, uh, the framing in and around. Um, we'll soften up the edges, sand them a little bit. And what we're working on is the top. There are all my pencils. <laughs> Does anybody else have that same issue in their shop? Use a pencil and it disappears. Next thing you know, you got three pencils out. Two of them are missing. And you open up a cooler and, uh, and there are your pencils. <laughs> I kept cursing, son of a bitch. Where are my pencils? And they're in the cooler. So now what we're doing is making the lid for this. And yeah, I uh, didn't get the all the filming, but here's where we're at. So we cut some more pallet wood to fit. Fits nice on there, just a little bit. And uh, we're cutting the pieces to fill in. And then we'll have a, a top. Fits pretty good. A little bit woogity. But it's pallet wood. It's the allure that people like. It's a one-off cooler, so uh, that's what we're doing. We're cutting, fitting, nailing. One cooler done, at least built. I'll take uh, some sandpaper, smooth it out a little bit, clean up this top, some of this dirt, because I got to put a burn on top, clean up the front there, and, uh, and then start burning it. So in the meantime, I'll try to clean up some of this mess. Give me a
Fight Club? No. Ed Norton, Brad Pitt? No. You didn't like it? You didn't like it because you don't understand it or because of the fighting? You know it's the same person though, right? All right, welcome back to the shop. If you wonder why I'm pointing the uh, <gasps> drill gun at my face, it's because I made up a little drill cam because we're gonna put the finishing touches on this bad boy. Got it all ready to go. Um, the only thing you didn't see was me essentially drilling a hole in the, uh, if I can do this without killing myself here. It's gonna fall, I know it, it's gonna fall. Right? So basically, there is a, it's a threaded riser, a threaded, a threaded sprinkler head riser that you'd use like in, in a home, you know, the sprinkler head pops out of the ground, out of the lawn. Uh, so that's what runs between the cooler and down here, and then there's just a little spigot that's connected to it to drain the cooler. All right, so now we'll put, we put got the top on. And we got this bad boy that goes on top of that. And we're gonna drill everything together. All right, here we go. And the final piece, obviously you can see you got to have product testing and make sure that it's catching bottles properly. So you do some testing like this. And Oh, right on the work clothes. But, caught the cap, so that's what matters. One last piece is to put this, these, these coolers uh, don't come with this, so you gotta buy this aftermarket. The uh, igloo ones that I used to use, Came with that, and uh, so it was nice. Basically, what it does is it relieves the pressure on these hinges back here. Obviously, now obviously I um, pre-drilled everything, um, and then countersink these screws in, type of thing. But uh, that's it. Handles placed, spigot, bottle cap catch works. 
opens. And that's that. Sucker's finished. Uh, fun little project. All these, these uh, coolers are always fun. They're always one-offs, very unique. Each, each and every one, even if I burn the same logo, it's going to have a whole different look because the wood's different every time. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys watching. Please make sure to subscribe. Definitely like the video. Even if you hate the video, hit the thumbs up. That's the appropriate way to do it. And uh, hit the notification bell after you subscribe, and it'll notify every time I put a video out. I try my best to put these out as often as I can, but... Uh, the real job gets in the way, and I don't always get to it, especially in busy weeks like this week. Um, but this is all ready for the customer to come pick it up. They either come tomorrow or uh, Saturday. Come pick this up. Thanks for tuning in, guys.